What's up guys, welcome to your 45th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to be doing in this tutorial is basically setting up our other XML layout called Send. Um, and if you guys didn't like that last tutorial where we did relative layout, I'm totally with you guys because I hate relative layout. I learned on linear layouts and it's pretty simple, you can get pretty much the same result. So we're going to work with a linear layout within this one. So what we need to do, or what we're going to do for the most part is set a text. Again we aren't going to get into too much detail, I just wanted to introduce you guys to something called radio buttons and a radio group. But uh, we're going to say enter text and then we're going to scroll through our form widgets and there should be a, there's a radio button. Towards the bottom of the list there should be something called radio group and basically we're going to drag and drop that in there. As you can see, this is radio groups or radio group for the most part. Then we're going to go, go into the XML and copy. Well, actually, we're just going to work with three buttons because that's going to be easier to work with. In Java, we won't have to reference as much and it won't be as boring. But basically, what a radio group is, is it's a group of these buttons, radio buttons. And when one of these buttons is pressed, whatever other button, like for example, if I press this here, this one would become highlighted and this one would not become highlighted kinda got its name because like those old school radio you know players if you press like the play button and it was on the pause button the pause button would come up or like you know the stop button would pop up as you hit the play button I don't know if that made sense but basically that's all we're gonna do with the radio group and then we're gonna add also another text view called test now we're just gonna go into the XML and I'm gonna control shift F for format all of it there we go and as you can see three radio buttons are within this thing called a radio group now what we can do is we can set up a radio group like set an on check change listener and anytime one of the buttons within the radio group is pressed it's going to change and as you can see uh, basically it's pretty much the same setup as every other thing that we've done in XML except for this check true that's a uh, basically saying that when we start up our application this button is going to be check true to start with we're just going to delete that out of that first radio button and uh, now none of them are checked so that's what we kind of want and we're going to change this text the first text view to say something like Travis is dot 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 and then we have some radio radio group um, or I'm sorry we're going to ch change the ID of this top text view we're going to say text view question something like that then let's say this radio group we're gonna say radio group RG answers and then um, we're basically gonna change all these radio or we're gonna change all these radio buttons as well we're gonna change this one to something like crazy because you know when I started these tutorials, I was going to try and make you guys think I was completely crazy. That's why I was like talking about my grandma. I was going to talk about like having cats everywhere, but I, d I decided against that. So if you guys think I live with my grandma, I was just kind of kidding with that. But um, basically, that's one of the choices. We can also say um, super uh, sexy, which is true, by the way. And uh, we're also going to change this last one to um, both which is pr probably true as well. I'm a little bit crazy. Then we're just going to say R crazy for the ID, R uh, sexy for that ID, and then lastly uh, both. Just getting everything set up and then we're also going to say text view test. So that's going to be a kind of a test text view for the most part. And we basically have that application set up or, or basically our layout. We aren't going to worry too much about everything for the most part. And then what I want you guys to do is set up two new classes. And I'll probably have you guys do this by yourself. But we're going to say data. We're going to call the, the main one data. And then uh, we're also going to call the second one, let's say... Um, opened class so there we go we have our two classes set up for the most part 
again we're just going to go into our menu class and we're going to just define one of them within here called data again it has to be the exact same as class again define it in the manifest and I mean I'll, I'll start because this tutorial is kind of short I'll start again just showing you guys how to set this up you guys should know how to do this by now but um, both of them are going to extend to activity pretty much standard activities for both of these and import it um, actually I probably won't even show you guys just again on, do on create real quick and then if you guys uh, basically you can set them up however you want but you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna set up all of your reference variables again uh, I like to do the initialize method and then just set them all up within there but you don't have to you can do you know all of your buttons within here as well but uh, yeah get all those reference references set up over to the XML don't worry about our uh, oh hold on actually I'm gonna say set content view sorry I'm kinda going spazzing out here with uh, deciding if I wanna show you guys everything or not but we're just gonna set the content view layout dot uh, but I want you guys to get this set up properly. For our data class, we're going to set that up to what do we call that one? Send. Yeah. Set that one to send. No. Set that one to get. I'm sorry. And then set up our other class called open class to send. Just want to make sure you guys got those references set up. And then again, initialize all of your variables, get them uh, set up in XML or the reference bridges that we've done in the past plenty of times. Get those set up, but don't worry about the radio group for open class activity. Um, I'll show you guys how to set that up in the next tutorial. So basically just set up everything and then I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.